Hello nurses, um, my name is Jamie Last. I work at um, Saddleback Memorial Hospital on 3 West Medical Oncology. I'm going to be demonstrating to you today how to use the Nesbitt Young Irrigation. Um, Nesbitt Young Irrigation is an intermittent irrigation, it's not a continuous. Uh, we're going to start to show you how to actually irrigate the bladder. Um, most of the time the irrigation set comes up already set up for you after um, a surgery called a TURP, which is a transuteral resection of the prostate. Um, what I'm going to show you is the setup of it. It comes with a 3,000 cc bag, the actual tubing for the irrigation, and then you'll see the setup right here. Okay. This part is going to be hooked up to the patient, and it's going to be a three-way system. You're going to have the drainage bag, which goes right here. That's going to drain all the stuff that you irrigate out into the bag. And then you're going to have the 60 cc syringe right here. That's going to help irrigate the bladder. And then you're going to actually have this part hooked up to the irrigation bag. Mm -hmm. So what you're first going to do to actually irrigate the bladder, you want to clamp the Foley catheter drainage bag nice and tight so it doesn't leak anything into there. Do you have a clamp to that bag? Because that bag will be to the floor, correct? Yeah. The or do you just hold it like that? You well, you just hold it like this. This mm -hmm. is going to be down to the floor. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have this part, whether, you know, left-handed or right-handed. Mm -hmm. I'm right-handed. So I'm going to keep this part in clamp. my... Mm -hmm. Usually... You know what, actually in my left hand, because I'm right handed, because you uh -huh. want to use your good hand to mm -hmm. actually pump the bladder. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to clamp it, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the irrigation, mm -hmm. and I'm going to eye usually 100 um, to 150 cc's of normal saline, mm -hmm. and you're going to pull on the syringe like this. And that's pulling the saline into the syringe, yes. correct. Mm -hmm. And a little bit is actually going into the bladder too at the mm -hmm. same time. So you're going to clamp your irrigation mm -hmm. and then when you're done, you're going to actually start irrigating the bladder. Basically what this does, it does like a little whirl system into the bladder and it mm -hmm. gets all that stuff that's you know Clots. stuck to the bladder and the clots and basically removes it. Mm -hmm. it removes it. So what you're going to do is you have to be aggressive with it because if you don't do it aggressively enough, you're not going to do your job efficiently. Okay. So you go back and forth really hard. Okay. And I do that a good amount of times. So it depends on how many clots and how bloody it is. You kind of have to eye it and know it mm -hmm. to see how long you want to do it. And then when, once you're done, you're going to release this and let everything flow the tubing to the gravity yeah. bag. Mm -hmm. Basically, all this is what's coming out of the bladder mm -hmm. into the actual bag. And you see what clots, and you're going to make sure you see what color it is and how many clots, and you record that in your charting mm -hmm. so the doctor knows if it's really clotty or not. Mm -hmm. Usually, you go by small, medium, or um, large clots. Okay. Um, if you feel like you need to do it again, you can do it again at that time. It doesn't matter. Okay. You want to make sure your goal is it's usually pink, yellow, or clear. You don't want any clots at all. Mm -hmm. Red clots. Mm -hmm. No, no clots. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. Usually the doctor has order of how many times he wants you to irrigate, but I usually irrigate it every four hours or pure and for clots. Mm -hmm. okay. um, a lot of times you know too, because a lot of times they'll get a lot of um, bladder pain and spasms down mm -hmm. there, and that's when you know you really have to irrigate it at that time to get okay. rid of the pain have, and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you just have to know your tubing, the tubing that's going to the bag, yeah, and you, then the tubing that's going to the gravity, yes. and the tube that's going to the patient. Yes. Right. And which one is clamped and which one is open. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have okay. to be pretty good with your hands to mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, but yeah. I usually, when I clamp it, I use my left hand. That's a good advice. You're mm -hmm. good. You're bad. You know, you don't use your good your hand. Your dominant hand is for the The suction. good hand's for the mm -hmm. flushing. Uh -huh. And then um, when you're, if you have computerized charting, Mm -hmm. to actually record it. You're going to record it right here. Under drains? Yeah, under, tubes, yes. It's under drains. line management under the doc flow sheet. Uh -huh. And um, it's going to be under urinary tube, which is the Foley catheter. Mm -hmm. And you're going to record your irrigation in, which mm -hmm. is the normal saline. Correct. And then your irrigation out, which is what comes in the back. Mm -hmm. 
And right. then you're going to subtract that, and you're going to get your true urine output. Correct. And that's really it. And um, for sometimes you actually have to set up the system. Uh huh. And that's only if sometimes even if it's not even after surgery, somebody develops some a lot of bladder pain and bloodiness and clots. You have to set up your system yourself. And it comes. You order it through your central supply, okay. and it comes up like this. And luckily. If you see right here, it comes with a picture, so it basically guides you how to do it. Uh huh. So the end gets hooked up to the Foley catheter? Yeah. What mm -hmm. you want to do first is you want to prime the bag, kind of like an IV. Because mm -hmm. when you're going to be doing this, of you course, have you have to have your, everything ready. Yeah, mm -hmm. you should have, you know, gloves on and stuff, and you're going to try to keep it as clean and sterile as you can. Okay. And then you're going to have this all set up, the, the prime tubing, and then you're going to put the actual 60 cc syringe right there mm -hmm. and then you're going to put the irrigation hooked up right there mm -hmm. and this part right here is where the Foley bag is going to be connected to mm -hmm. and this basically goes to the patient and right. that's it. Alrighty. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate it. Have a nice it. day.